Am I right right here? Amen. I thank God for just his traveling grace. And I thank God for my husband that has carried me so many places with the grace of God. But the word God gave me when I was standing there, he said that even in the book, when the prophet went to go give the king a word and the king was burning his incense and he said his altar would come down. God is saying to you all, there's going to be many that it's going to point their hand at you because you begin to tear down the altars that others have built up against through religion, through witchcraft, because rebellion is a sign of witchcraft. So when you rebel against God, you're practicing witchcraft. And so he says many will point their finger, but God says you don't have to do anything because just as the king pointed his hand towards the prophet, Right as he pointed his hand, his hand shriveled up. God said, those that are going to speak against you getting baptized, against you coming together on today, they're going to point their hand. But as they point their hand, God said, he's going to draw it up. But he says, do not speak curses over them, speak blessings. Bless your enemies. He will make your enemies at peace with you. And so God said, there's a new direction. But be careful of the words that you hear. Because some would try to get you off track. Because even as you go down in that story, an old prophet lied to the prophet and told him to come home with me. There's going to be more than it's going to invitate, give you an invitation to go with them to a place. And God says, make sure you hear his verb for word. He says, stay where I have placed you. Stay where I placed you. That's the word that God gave me as I was standing there. And so I want to say to you, man of God, you have a strong apostolic call. You're breaking religious boundaries right here in Iowa. There are certain people God gave me a word for, and I'm going to tell you something. I don't open, I don't go to every open invitation. I'm just being honest. But God says, those houses you go to, I will bless. He's taking me back and he's saying, even in the midst of the 13 year sentence where the enemy tried to bound you down, God says, I broke the chains. He said, for this time right now, because I knew that I could trust you. And he said, I'm restoring everything that the locusts has eaten up. Even your name is being brought back up and integrity is brought back up. God says, because what, what's been spoken against you, I'm getting ready to show that I have told you from your mother's womb, even when curses were spoken against. Greatness, greatness, man of God. And you got some powerful men around you that have testimonies that haven't begun to sit, go through them and they haven't begun to give them because they were ashamed of them. But how can the captives get set free unless you give your testimony? So God said in this season, I'll be back in a year, if not before. But God says in this season, in a year, you're going to see a turnaround. And every tear, when people don't even see you crying, he says you're going to see the seed that was planted by the watering of your tears that is going to flourish with your hearts. God bless.